Welcome fellow disciples, Welcome fellow disciples, this is The Alchemist. I hope you are having a really great day. Today we are going to buy a ticket to the bullet hell train because today we are going to play some Cursor Blade which is one of the newest horde survival bullet hell games out there with a little little twist because today we are going to control a tiny little cursor blade instead of a classic character and we are going to take down a bunch of enemies waves get some really nice upgrades and you know have a great time but before we start playing cursor blade i'm just reading out the official description of the game so you can decide really early on that you're going to like this or not cursor blade is a bullet hell game where you play as the cursor fighting your way through waves of enemies. Combine weapons and items to become more powerful with your own unique builds. Slash, dodge, upgrade and repeat. I think it is a really well summarized thing here, but before we start the game, I just want to show you how to play section because I had some problems with this and I really want to have your feedback on this that was it only me that who had uh, this problem with this or or is it a little bit iffy and maybe need some you know extra information down here so how to play swipe your cursor to attack enemies well that's pretty okay right click to use the abilities totally fine but here don't get hit by attacking enemies or enemies projectiles and we have these little pictures here so here is the cursor blade here's the enemy and also here's the projectile and here's our little blade buddy but for the first time when i launched the game I had this problem, so it's because the whole UI and the screen and everything is kind of reminding me of a first person game. I was not able to understand that the cursor is taking damage, not me. So I died a bunch of times and the next day I relaunched the game, well, there must be something I miss. And then I read this one, started to play and I realized that the cursor is taking damage, not me. So um, maybe a little addition here, like, you know, the cursor is taking damage, not you, move it away or whatever. So what do you think about this? Is it just me? So maybe it's, I'm just, you know, thinking too much with a quick game tester brain, but it feels like maybe it needs a little bit of addition. Anyways, back to the game and let's see what we can do. I unlocked all the available cursor blades down here but right now we are not going to bother with these because I am going to show you the default cursor blade, the OG cursor blade and it has an ability called dodge spin. So let's choose character and start the game. So the thing is that we have this really really nice cute aesthetic of the enemies also the cursor blade is looking like a really cool i don't know friendly popsicle or something like that and the music it kind of reminds me of uh you know sims where you are just arranging your own home and you have this really funky upbeat thing going on and you're just having a really great time but don't deceive you the game don't let the game deceive you because enemies are going to be pretty fierce so we have to keep an eye on them so as just like any other bullet hell action roller games when we complete a wave we will have a really nice option to upgrade stuff let's see what we can do we have a messiah drop a messiah to attack a random enemy so the sticky bomb which is a chance to attach a bomb to an enemy i really like this and we have the ice which is a chance to freeze enemies we're going to go with the sticky bomb because we can just you know stick little bombs randomly to the enemies and i really like this the dodge stuff works like this you press the right click and the cursor blade just spins and you can like avoid different types of attacks but the thing is that I don't really like the dodge one because the thing is that when you dodge I think the vulnerability invulnerability stuff should be like delayed a little bit like one second half a second because if you dodge and then you land on an enemy that you're going to take damage so maybe it's just me but I think it needs a little bit tweaking here so choose one item once again with adrenaline there's one more splash damage per missing card it's pretty useful in the late game we have boxing gloves deal one more splash damage for every 10 combos you have 
We have maximum 5 stacks, and we have the ghost sheet which enemies take longer to attack you at the start of each wave. I really like this one because, you know, it gives you a little bit of ease at the beginning, so you can have a really nice blasting at the beginning. You just, you know, cheese down the enemies and all the cool stuff. So now we have the projectile shooting enemies, and they are extremely annoying because if you don't take them down early in the wave, uh, they are going to shoot a bunch of projectiles at you and with the dodge roll you can just move away from the in the projectiles but when a bunch of projectiles getting shot at you at the same time well good luck with that so uh, here are the eyes we know already know this with porcupine chance for enemies to fire out quills on death I really like this one because it has like a detonation effect so when you kill an enemy there's a nice chance to damage other enemies or kill them outright and we have the laser gun, which is a chance to fire laser that pierces through enemies, also working really well, but I really would like to go with the porcupine this time. So, okay, let's move out. We have this uh, bee-looking, like, uh, you know, bombs or whatever missiles that uh, these hives are shooting out. They're pretty annoying ones. So laser gun, lightning and ice, you know, let's see how reroll works. So we reroll, then of course we can have different types of stuff, and most of the time we have something that is already uh, in our arsenal, so we can like target farm a little bit. Okay, so I took damage, because the angry big one uh, just damaged me, and we have the magma, which is leaves a fire trail that burns enemies, it's pretty standard one, but I like it. We have the cactus, spawns an orbiting cactus that deals damage to enemies, and we have the porcupine, so I just really want to get it to like level 2. So my rule of thumb here in the game is just we have to take down the projectile based guys immediately, because they can do like really nasty damage, and while you're moving through the screen, they can just target you with those nasty projectiles randomly, and you have to you know, keep an eye on those projectiles. Also, the thing is, uh, before we go to the next one, just wanted to show you the settings of the game. So we have music, sound effects, full screen, and we have the, uh, you know, language. Also, there's a, um, you know, the, not black mode, dark mode, which is a really good thing. I always use dark mode in every single application I can. But what I found to be really helpful is to bump the cursor speed down. Because if you're using a really fast mouse, uh, it is really hard to hit the enemies precisely and much easier to run into like different types of projectiles and get hit. So what I would recommend, and you know, this is kind of like feedback, uh, that in the settings menu, it would be really nice to have like a cursor speed, uh, like, you know, option that you can just toggle it down or whatever, like a percentile something that would be really really cool in my opinion if you played the game let me know if this is something that uh, you found helpful or is it completely made up by myself okay, so we have the clover so every like few waves we're going to have like a big upgrade which is not going to be an active one it's more like a passive one so uh or i mean not a weapon types these are like passive items that go here and here. So we have the clover. Uh, hearts drop from enemies more frequent. I think we definitely need this. We also have the hourglass, which is longer invincibility time after taking damage, which is pretty nice. And we have like five extra rerolls. I wouldn't mind this one, but let's go for clover. And let's expand our inventory just a little bit. We have the shooting star. Chance to drop a star to attack random enemies. It's pretty useful. We have the shroom. Creates a toxic spore around you dealing damage to any enemies within range, and we already know the ice one. So the shroom is one of my favorite because you will have a nice AOE type of uh, damage going on, and even, you know, not actively attacking those enemies, whoops, uh, you can deal damage to them just by hovering the cursor next to them. So I think it's a really nice one. Ghost chance for dead enemies to summon a ghost that attacks other enemies. I am a big fan of summoning belts, but we are going to leave this for the next run. We have magma leaves a fire trail, and we have lightning chance to release lightning bolt that jumps to nearby enemies. And I think lightning is a cool addition. So let's just move and uh, next to the uh, poisonous EOE stuff, we are also doing a jumping lightning bolt thing. 
your missile, drop a missile to attack random enemies and do the laser gun, which is justifier laser that pierces through enemies. I'm just going to reroll and uh, let's see what we have. We have the saw blade. Chance to create a saw blade dealing damage over time to enemies. It's a saw blade getting summoned and just spinning and going uh, a little bit to every direction. It's a pretty cool one. And with target, one of my favorite, chance to deal triple damage. So triple damage is uh, of course much better than not triple damage. So uh, we are just going to use this small chance to deal damage. Oh, what is going on? Oops, I almost died because I was not focusing. We have the shuriken, which is a chance to throw a ninja star that bounces between enemies. Super cool thing, but we're going to uh, go with the shroom. And now I died because I wanted to get the heart that spawned and those nasty projectile based enemies just killed me. So this is going to be pretty frequent uh, at the you know higher waves because you just cannot pay attention to every single detail that is happening and with a huge chance you're going to take a bunch of damage. So as I promised we're going to see the summoning build now, which is a ghost one. So every time we kill enemies there is a chance that a ghost is getting summoned and that ghost is going to hit the living enemies, which is I think is a really really cool one. So like we have a nice chance to take down enemies and also summon something that is going to take them down as well. So we have the snail, reduces enemies projectile speed. I found this extremely helpful, but we have the boxing gloves. This one more splash damage for every 10 combos you have, really useful. But we are going to go with the bubble shield because become invincible briefly every 10 seconds. And I'm just going to show you a interesting, in my opinion, bug in the game right now, but maybe it's a feature, who knows. But you will see that the shield is getting triggered out of the waves. So like 10 seconds, in a few seconds, the shield is going to get triggered once again. See? But why? Why would you need this out of waves? So, you know, maybe it's just something you had to take a box to, you know, disable it or something. But I think it would be awesome. But I will have a feedback section at the end of the video. So don't worry. So uh, we have fire, which is going to inflict burn, dealing damage over time with the porcupine. And here is the shuriken that we haven't tried before. Chance to throw an ninja star that bounces between enemies. Let's go and uh, do like a uh, ghosty ninja type of thing. So we're going to have, uh, I don't know, some, some extra coolness. We are having the, uh, the nice, uh, you know, shield as well. So we have the laser gun shooting star and the ice so this is a star this is a star i don't know let's go with a starry build i don't know if this is a uh, even a valid thing oops got a uh, nice damage thanks to the thing the thing is that i do not use uh, the right click ability enough in my opinion so i have to uh much get much better uh, at this so we added an extra level of shuriken, which is just bouncing between enemies. We all we already know these, but I'm just going to uh, increase the level of the ghosts because summoning more ghosts equals more damage, which has a really nice chance to we can complete the game or this this type of uh, the first first level or something because the level based on my uh, experiences, uh, contains 40 waves. And in the 40th wave, there's a boss that you have to take down. I was able to go there once and I wasn't able to take it down. So let's hope that in this video, this is going to happen. So gift, increase the number of weapons by one different options. We have the alarm clock, which is deals double damage briefly at the start of every wave. I think this is a really sneaky one, but I like it. And uh, deals damage to enemies after taking damage pretty useful and we're going to get a bunch of damage so um, I'm just going to check this one let's reroll because we are going with the summoning slash star build so here is the other star one okay let's uh, get away from the projectiles it's fine because we cannot destroy the projectiles it would be cool to have like something that uh, lets you destroy the projectiles as well Maybe it would be overkill, I don't know.
So laser gun, no reroll, and let's go with the other shooting star. Okay, we have a nice uh, shield, so we can just dive into uh, the hordes of enemies with the shield, but just for like one one damage because it only negates one damage. So saw blade, chance to create a saw blade dealing damage over time to enemies. Saw blade, kind of similar to the shuriken and the star, so we're going to go with. Uh, more or less star-shaped objects uh, with this build, and you know the uh, the main thing with these uh, big the big puffy enemies. What I really hate is that the timing. So first, you see that the guy is getting angry, and the first thing you um, how to say the first thing you assume is that they are attacking at the moment they are getting angry, but no, that's not a thing. They're getting angry and after that they are glowing and they are attacking that time. So it's a pretty pretty nifty way to trick the player. To be honest, I don't like it because I just ca couldn't wrap my head around this, but maybe with time I'm going to get better. We have revive with one heart and deaths called Halo, and we have adrenaline. There's one more slash damage per missing heart. I'm just going to go with the Halo and try to do, you know, the safest things we can do, and we are going to go with the shooting stars. Okay, so with the huge amount of enemies, uh, what I found pretty lethal is that if you are trying to damage as much as many of them as possible at the same time because they are going to spawn a bunch of smaller enemies which will uh you know they will deal a bunch of damage to you with a really nice chance so uh, what i found pretty good is just you know single them out one by one and you will have a much better uh you know end result so let's go with the shooting stars and now we are uh, using the dodge one Always taking out the projectile dudes as soon as possible, and we are done. So we have the target, which is going to chance to deal triple damage, but I'm just going to go with the shuriken because we are uh, mainly focusing on the star shaped stuff right now. Oops, nice damage here. So we took down the angry mushroom guys, and it is awesome. Okay, so shuriken also We need more, uh, you know, uh, ghosts from now on Here are the ninjas. Ooh, but we only have one HP, so we have to be careful Maybe a little extra hearts would be pretty awesome. Where are they? We do not have a clover, so Our chances to get a star is pretty low. I mean a uh, heart Okay, deals double damage briefly, and we have the clover, so I'm just going to go with the clover because we need, definitely need some extra hearts. So, uh, no projectile guys, but many, many big ones, so let's, uh, oh boy. Now we use the halo, so we revived. Okay, and I took damage instantly. Come on. So, what I found really cool is that you're trying to be like a bit more tactical but unfortunately because there are so many random things at the same time uh, it's not it's not that easy that often so sometimes you think ooh I'm just, just getting pretty tactical now so I am definitely going to be able to complete the level and sometimes you just made the slightest mistake and that's it so like a random projectile shoots you. Okay, now we have a bunch of hearts back, so pretty okay. Kill the small one, take down the projectile guy. And the shooting star is extremely cool, so we are doing a really cool AoE type of damage. Magma, you know, let's go target. Now we have some cool UFOs here. Which are, they're doing pretty nasty damage, so. We have to take them down, and they are pretty sturdy, so we have to do a bunch of damage. And of course, this is only the, you know, the main the main cursor blade that we are 
trying out here. So the different ones have like different uh, type of abilities. For example, one of them deals less damage but has more more HP by default. Uh, there is a barring skill where you can uh, bar different types of enemies with projectile based ones and it's pretty cool. But you cannot use them on the bigger ones because they slip out of it. So it's a pretty well well taught stuff. So deals double damage briefly after taking damage, which is rage. We have cake, recovers all of your hearts, and we have like extra uh, rerolls. We are definitely going to go with cake because uh, we are we were pretty low on HP. So new types of enemies like the angry, uh, you know, dinosaur-looking guys. Let's take them down, take the small ones down, and everything's cool. Nice or slow, but okay, so one of my uh, most hated waves. So see a bunch of big guys and if you take out Just many of them at the same time you're going to find yourself in a pretty bad situation because you spawn a bunch of smaller ones and They are going to be angry and hit at the same time So I'm just trying to you know, keep my distance uh, wait until they are not super angry. Spawn as much stuff as possible. But it would be really nice to have some extra achievements in the game. Not sure if... Uh, how many So in the game right now. But I think I've got like three or four, like a veteran or something, play that amount of games or something. But more, uh, you know, complex ones would be pretty cool. So we have in the 20th wave, so we are halfway to the end. We have Shuriken and Sawblade. I'm just going to increase Sawblade. Whoops. Okay, one damage. Uh-oh. Yeah, that's it. Yeah, it's pretty, pretty problematic when we have a bunch of, uh, you know, projectile-based guys and they're just doing extreme amount of damage. Okay, so what we're going to do now is we check out a, another, uh, you know, cursor blade with a stone blade, which is, starts with more a, more hearts, but deals less damage, and we have the stone wall ability. You know, let's go with the, the stone blade. So see, we are only dealing eight damage instead of ten, so we need at least one more swipe to the enemies. Let's see. Let's go with like a uh, fire-based build, so like magma. Having this uh, fiery trail all over, so we are doing 10 damage from now on, just like with the normal, with the standard cursor blade, because we have this magma like trail just getting drawn after us. Okay, so second wave, choose one. Mox add to maximum hearts, shield spawns an orbiting object that blocking incoming projectiles with the hourglass longer invincibility time after taking damage. I would say let's go with the apple and get uh, two more uh, hearts. And how about go sticky bomb ice? Mm, okay, fire and ice. Let's go and uh, try to match the two opposite elements. Let's see what we can what we can do by this. Oh, a heart. Awesome. Okay, so we're taking, doing a bunch of damage. Just freezing them down. Okay. So shroom, porcupine, saw blade, no. Ghost, shuriken, sticky, no. Uh, magma, too. Okay. And here is how we bar them so they cannot shoot the projectiles. Uh... Shroom, sticky bomb, okay, we roll. Let's go with magma free. Take them, take the projectile guys down. Okay, we also freeze them. Ooh, hearts. Still maximum. Yes. Okay. So we need a little bit more of a uh, swipey swipe here, but we are we are doing a little less damage. So uh, okay, choose one weapon. Okay, we are going to chance to do with lightning. Chance to release a lightning bolt that jumps to nearby enemies. So we are all about the elements uh, with this build right now. And of course not getting hit by those nasty projectiles. 
Okay, big one. So we have the bubble shield. We already tried this, but we have the onion, which is reduces maximum health for all enemies, which is pretty cool. But I'm just going to go with the snail because last time we died thanks to the really fast projectiles. So let's see how the snail works this time, and maybe we can, you know, just have some advantage thanks to the slower projectiles. Whoops. Okay. So I still, I'm still not using the right click abilities enough, so maybe that's my problem. Okay, take down this one. Whoops, got damage, come on. Okay, we need hearts because we only have like three. So more lightning damage. Okay, oh no. Come on. <laughs> oh boy. Yep, only a ninth wave. Okay, let's go retry. Let's go with the same blade once again because that was not a really nice, uh, you know, progress. Let's go with the uh, missile. With the missile, we can shoot like random missiles to a random enemy, which is pretty useful. Awesome. We have the Rage, Boxing Glove, and the other one more splash damage for every missing card. You know, let's go with the Slash one and go with the Missile. So, you can really easily uh, choose between the stuff and you can deal damage to enemies with, from different types of sources. And it's pretty fun. Uh, how about, da, 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 you know, Shroom. It's pretty cool. Ah. And also the, the bad thing is that uh, they have, some of them are not just, you know, shooting the projectiles. They're also getting damage when they are red, so I really I really hate them. That's the that's the truth. But I do find this a pretty fun game. So for example, if you only have a I don't know, 20 minutes to play or you don't have an extremely good computer, you can blast a bunch of, uh, but you, you can have a really nice amount of, uh, you know, content out of this game. Recover all hearts, ghost sheet, let me speak. Uh, longer to attack you at the start of the wave. I think it's a cool one. You know, let's go with stuff we haven't tried. We have the cactus, which is uh, spinning around. Okay, let's take down the, um, the annoying clouds. Okay, saw blade. We have this before. So how about the laser gun? We haven't tried the laser gun yet. Take down the beehive. Awesome. Uh, sticky bomb. Okay, we maxed out all the different types of stuff we can do. These projectiles are extremely annoying. Cool. Okay, how about... Come on, I need the slowest uh, cursor I have. Sticky bomb. Ooh, may maybe that's too slow. Maybe just, just one above that. Oh no, there was a projectile shooting guy left there. Awesome. 76. Recolor of your hearts, we have a one more slash damage when you complete a wave, but stack is lost, don't taking damage. No, I am not that good, unfortunately, so I am definitely going to lose a bunch of stacks. The most annoying time, so I am not going to invest in this. Okay, one damage, but we got the heart back, really nice. Take down the big ones. Okay. Pretty cool laser gun. Ah! Take them down. Cool. What I really like about this is that in every other, you know, like action rule, like horde survival game, you're going to control a specific character that you have to uh, control with either the stick of your gamepad 
or with WASD or, or even the mouse but with clicking and with this you know the mouse cursor has a pretty nice fast and free movement and uh, what I like about this is that you can get around the screen extremely fast and you can you know take down a bunch of enemies that are not just the closest to you so you can be a little bit more tactical than most of the time uh, in these types of survival games but of course there are you know pretty bad stuff like a bunch of idiotic projectiles just going through and uh, you just cannot get away because I don't know random or it follows you so and of course because the other downside is that controlling a character which is moving r rather slower than this one you have more precision than with a uh, you know just a random cursor increase the number of weapons options by one uh, and you know deals damage to all enemies after taking damage let's go with a nice puffer fish and we're going to go with the shrooms as well but okay so time to take down the medium-sized ones before we go and take down the big ones because they're spawning a bunch of annoying stuff here no see it's pretty annoying because you cannot just not attack them when they are glowing uh, you just cannot attack them when they are looking angry so when can you attack them never okay go 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 take them down yes okay laser gun is pretty cool you know, bouncing from enemy to enemy let's go shroom six a really huge area with the shroomy shroom so taking down those ufos yes okay cool Very nice let's go with laser gun four we really need some uh clovers oh but oh yeah that's it oh but come on okay let's uh let's see another cursor blade so that uh, we can have a nicer um you know progress than 20 level aqua blade the ability is slows enemy projectiles and we are dealing the same amount of damage like 10 10 damage every single time we poke an enemy so it's pretty cool let's go to ghosty one so we are summoning a bunch of helpers to take those nasty enemies down Okay, awesome. How about longer invincibility restores hearts when you pick a heart up? I mean, not one, but two hearts. Let's slow them down with the ice. Okay, the projectile guys are down. That was pretty neat. Another slowing stuff. Take down the beehive. And we are going to check out how the projectile slowing is going to work because I haven't used this. Let's go with the laser gun. Ooh, let's see, it's a nice, like, soap bubble is uh, going to wrap the projectiles so, so they are getting going to get slowed. Nice. Okay, only one projectile, never mind. Let's use them again. Ooh, cool. Ha ha ha. So how do you like your own medicine? Beehive. Awesome. Ooh, we lost a bunch of stuff. This one more damage for every second for the combos. Let's go with the combos. And of course, go with the shroom. Oh, come on. Oh, okay. We have three hearts again. Great one. Fire, magma. Okay, let's go with the laser gun. Slow down the projectiles. Also not the best, because uh, now they are going to spin around the stuff that is uh, they are orig originating from, so... It's much harder to take them down, because they have like a... Uh, spinning projectiles around them. The 
defending them. So it's funny. Okay, shroom rank three. Let's wait until they cast. Of course, they are not casting the projectiles at the same time. Because they are just too tactical. Oh, heart. Come on. I have to screw up this every single time. More rerolls. We have the orbiting shield. And I'm just going to reduce the maximum health of those pesky enemies. And we are just blasting a bunch of laser guns. Okay, taking them down. Angry blobs. Come on. We are losing the, you know, the combo counter, but I think it doesn't really matter because we want to survive. So who cares about the combo counter, to be honest. So not taking damage is much more important than, you know, not screwing up the combo counter, in my opinion. Okay, let's slow down them. Ooh. Nice. That was a cool one. Another rank of ice. Oops. That was a uh, premature slowing. Oh boy. <sighs> Only one heart left. Ah, come on. We need. Oh, awesome. That was. That was definitely an ice saver. Oof. Okay. Awesome. Let's, the, let's go with the ghost. Some other ghosts. Oof. Thanks to the slowing, I was able to get the heart. And of course we have to get the hearts as soon as possible because uh, they're fading away. Why, why wouldn't they, of course? It's not enough that the, the game is uh, kind of hard by itself, no. We, we need fading hearts. So we have the double damage, we have the magnet which is pulling the nearby hearts in. You know, pull the nearby hearts in. I think with uh, two... Two hearts, we are pretty okay right now. Haha, we have maximum right now, pretty cool. Okay, let's just take them down. Wait a little, take a bunch of them down. Just wait, wait there. So it can be pretty funny because if you, you know, freeze down them in the angry state uh, and you time your attacks wrongly they can just really easily hit you because you poke them at the wrong time or you know unfreeze them at the wrong time or how to put it awesome let's uh, let's increase the repertoire let's go to missile oh boy The UFOs are extremely sturdy. They can take like 40, 50 damage. Even, oops. Let's wait. Awesome, 17th wave missile. Oh, now we have the flaily ones. Oh, and they also count as a projectile based one, so I can uh, slow their stuff down. Oh, really cool. Yeah. Come on. Okay, max. Let's wait until it stops and go. Oh. Add two maximum hearts. Yes, please. We definitely need this laser gun. Wah! We have the annoying dinosaurs. Are they dinosaurs, by the way? Maybe they are. I don't know. Yeah, let's let's call them dinosaurs. Maybe we cannot uh, be that far away from the troop with that. Okay. Oh boy. Oh boy. Come on. them down so no use for the right click ability because there are no projectiles we are having brutal amount of combos oh yes of course I had to took one damage but doesn't really matter let's go to ghost okay slow them down and we are just waiting to be I don't know Come on. Oh boy. Oh, finally. Got some extra hearts. And we are set. Awesome. 
so how about shooting stars? They are looking pretty cool. They're working pretty nicely before. Take down the flaily one. Awesome. Of course, I had to take one damage. Snail reduced the enemy projectile speed. You know, let's go with double damage at the beginning. I just really need some extra decimation. Ooh, we slow down the projectiles and we just sneak in for the last one to go down. Oops. Slow, 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 slow. Oh boy, look at this. We only have two, two hearts left. Oh boy, that was, that was bad. Shooting star. Go down, take them down. Okay, no projectiles. Should be fine, yes. Shroom to go next level. Oh boy, let's uh, slow down the projectiles. So one heart left. Can we can we take these down and have a heart at least? No, we cannot. Ghost sheet. Let's go to ghost sheet and uh, shooting stars. Oh boy! Oh boy! Oh boy! Oh boy! Heart! 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 No. C can we? Can we? No. I just. I just moved into the projectile. Oh boy. Okay, 28 wave. I think this uh, this is a pretty okay, um, you know, progress because as you can see, the game is not that easy. You have to concentrate a lot and all the cool stuff. So let's summarize how Cursor Blade plays and uh, I'm giving the little feedback on the game. So I do think that Cursor Blade is a extremely, extremely cool game that you can play for a bunch of hours having a really nice progress with different cursor blades, all different enemies and builds that you can put together. Most of them are pretty funny, like the music is really chill, the whole atmosphere of the game is pretty chill, so like you just sit down and have a really really cool time. As I mentioned, there are a few things that I might say that need some polishing. The first one is that cursor speed should be adjustable in the settings, in my opinion. The second one is that the spinning, the you know dodge spin, should have like a delayed invincibility, like a uh, 0.5 seconds or something like that after you land with the cursor blade. Also, there is the bubble shield that is going to get triggered outside of the waves, which I really don't understand why. Uh, and the fourth one uh, I wasn't able to show here, but I see that there is an item that gives you an extra weapon option. So a fourth one, but if you reroll, there is no fourth one there. So maybe it would be awesome to have it like apply to the rerolls. And you know, there are a bunch of cursor blades with different types of abilities and you know, you can just unlock more. And I do suspect that the game is getting updated pretty frequently and oh yes the how to play section in my opinion should contain that the, the cursor the cursor is taking damage not you so move the cursor out of the harm's way because this is not a first person game but maybe that's completely my own mistake so what do you think about cursor blade are you going to pick it up have you played it if you are going to have any you know interaction with the game or do you have any thoughts about the game please write them down in the comments and if you like the videos or the content of the channel please give them a nice cursor bladey thumbs up because it helps me promoting this video to more people around there and my current goal is 400 subscribers we're extremely close getting closer and closer by every day so if you like my channel please consider clicking the subscribe button there because it is an extraordinary half for the channel and with this, I was the Alchemist, and I see you really soon with something else.